Our dear friend, uh, Dr. The Yui from Neutrog, uh, we're going to have a little chat to him about compost because composting is so important. I hope all your compost is up on the veggie patch already and we're starting afresh. Uh, g'day, Yui, how are you? How's it going? Yeah, very well, very well. Can you hear me? Yeah, now I can. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, yeah, winter, winter's truly over, isn't it? And uh, most of us haven't been looking at our compost heaps except for maybe throwing in the occasional weed or some of the branches from your pruning. But now it's really an ideal time to uh, get your compost running hot. And I really truly mean that. It's uh, ideal weather to turn your heap and have a look at things and whether they're breaking down or not. And, you know, is your, wheat, is your heap wet enough? You know, with the drier weather on the way, just like you saw, your compost heap can dry out fairly quickly. And when that happens, it just stops the bacteria and the fungi. They like it nice and warm, moist. And they also like to have, obviously, that balance of green and brown waste. Yeah, I like to put an ag line into the centre of my compost to get some water and some airflow into the centre uh, in this dry weather. They do dry out. What are the ideal conditions for a good compost heap? Well, you might be surprised that most people who have a problem with their compost heap, it boils down really to two things, and that's moisture and that brown to green balance. So what you want is you want about 10 to 15 kilos of brown material to one kilo of green. And then most uh, heaps, you know, they have too much brown to that dry material, the twigs, and that really slows things down. So the brown provides that carbon or the sugar for the microbes, while the green provides the nitrogen for the bacteria and fungi to actually grow and multiply. So without that nitrogen source... They don't grow and everything slows down. So when it comes to your moisture, your pile should actually be quite wet. So you're aiming for a moisture around 50 to 60%. And if you squeeze your compost and it's too wet, water will run out. If you crush your compost, it simply falls apart, then it's too dry. So it should hold together, but without being sticky. All right. So what does this have to do with fertiliser? Well, I recently looked at my own compost heap and it was a mess. It was dry. It was lacking nitrogen. I could, think, I could tell things were not breaking down. So I basically pulled it all apart and reconstructed it. And for every few forks full of material, I would throw in a handful of Rooster Boost or Rapid Razor. And then I'd water it in with some go-go juice. And I, I came back a week later with a, a compost probe I'd borrowed from Neutron. And to my surprise, the temperature was in excess of 50 degrees. It was before it was really cold, so there was no biological activity. So now my pile has really literally shrunk to about half its size. Things are really breaking down, and it's ready to be used for my veggie patch in the next few weeks. So, you know, organic fertilisers such as Rooster Booster or Rapid Razor aren't just great for your plants. They can really kick along with your compost heap. Oh, thank you so much, Yui. That's great information. And all of that um, compost nut needs to be out of the compost into the veggie patch so you can start growing your summer tomatoes, basil, eggplant, zucchini, corn, etc. And then it's a really good time of year to boost that compost, get it out and then start a new one because we've got six months until we need the compost for our winter vegetables next April. 